Today I will show you how to combine all these different images together to create really nice cute Dumbo scene. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today we will create this really nice cute Dumbo scene out of a bunch of different images as you already saw at the beginning and you will again learn a lot of interesting tips, tricks and techniques that you can later use in your own work, in your own projects. So without further ado, let the fun begin. All right, we will start with this blank document and it's 2000 by 2500 pixels. So in case you're interested in, and I will start by sketching an elephant. So I will just show you what I like to do. I like to create a new layer and just use any color, for example, black and brush. 100% opacity and I just want to start sketching the elephant. So this will be the head, the trunk, probably like this, something like that, smile, little smile. So here will be somewhere the eye, etc. And then we will have a body and tail. This is really quick sketch usually takes a while to create something like really nice sketch you will see so it's a body and something like that and we will here have some like big ear a dumbo ear right and one here so I already did the sketch I took me a little bit longer than this as you can see it's much nicer and uh, also you can use some reference from uh, internet to uh, make your sketch however you want your elephant or whatever you're creating to look for me it's easier to have a sketch and then to arrange all elements according to this sketch so as you can see i already named it the sketch and now let's start by finding proper parts for the element uh, elephant so i want first to start with the head as you can see i have a lot of images right here we will use all of them and for the head i like this one so because I don't have the element in that pose and uh, in that uh, perspective and everything that I made a sketch, I need to combine several images together. And also guys, make sure to use similar litten elements, images from element, elements from images, because it will be much easier to combine everything together. So let's start with this one. I already, as you can see, extract the head. I made a selection, just a quick selection around the head and the trunk, and that's it. And I will just copy this and go back and paste it right here. Okay, now I'll press Control T or Command T on a Mac, right click and say flip horizontal because I need to be like this. I will also lower the opacity just to see through. Okay, make everything smaller, something like, like this and it will be probably okay somewhere here. This is all trial and errors, trial and errors, until you find a perfect shape and spot and size, etc. But for me, this is okay, I will press okay, and now I need to reshape the head to fit my sketch. So there are several ways how you can do it. You can use a liquify tool. If you're not familiar how to use the liquify tool, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. You can use Puppet Warp tool. Again, I have full tutorial on Puppet Warp tool on the link right there. So I will just start with both of them just to show you quickly how you can do it. And then I will just run through the tool that I will choose for this. I will not go through explaining the tools because I already have a full tutorial on that. So for this, let's first use filter and liquify. Okay, this is a really powerful tool, as you can see. And now I cannot see anything behind, beside the, the head and I don't know how to shape the head. So there is one really nice trick. We can check this show backdrop and all, you can choose which layer. Maybe you just want to sketch or all layers. So I will just use all layers and let me, let's me let zoom this a little bit. Or let's use just a sketch, all right? And now I can just move the elephant like this, okay, and uh, later I, I can move the trunk a little bit differently, but this is like a starting position and that's cool. As you already see, it's a little bit more cuter, I like this uh, head shape better, etc. And that's one way how you can do it and then you can use a puppet tool to, to transform the trunk. 
Now I will show you another way. Let's undo this. Another way is just by using Puppet Warp tool. I will just expand the mesh. As you can see, mesh is right there. So I just want to expand it. And I just want to put a few pins here and there just to hold everything in place. And now I will just move everything like this. And this is my weapon of choice for this. If you have this kind of message, that means that you just that you cannot put a pin so close to this one. I just missed this one, so that's why the message pop up. So maybe I will just go like this. Okay. And just transform. Transform it. Okay, I got another message. And now what I like to do, I like to click somewhere here, press and hold Alt or Option key, and I can rotate the trunk. Or like Elephant like to say, Sorry guys. All right, now let's go and I will just fast forward this. I will do exactly the same steps like I did in a few couple of seconds before. So let's do it. Okay, now when I'm done with this, I will press OK and let's crank the opacity all the way up. As you can see, this is before, this is after, before and after. I really like, whoops this uh, hat shape better than this one that we started with so this will be our starting head position now i will again lower the opacity just a little bit and go to find a body so for a body i will use this one this one it's already extracted so i'll just copy it and go back paste it right there press ctrl or command t right click flip horizontal and i will do exactly the same like i did with the head so as you can see, the colors are not matching, but don't worry about that. We can go and I like to go to uh, camera row filter for that. So just to play with the temperature, I will make it a little bit more bluish like this, maybe a little bit darker and lower the situation a little bit. So this is just for start. We can later tweak. We will actually later tweak this and match it. All the, the parts of the elephant will match it to to match the color lighting, etc. So now what I like to do, I like to use the lasso tool and let me show you. Lasso tool and L on the keyboard and just, I don't need this part. I don't need the head because I already used the head from a previous, I will delete it. And now I will play just with the body. So let's rename it, this is body and this is head. Okay, let's lower the opacity of the body just a little bit and guys, my body will go, let me just show you because this is, this is the ear and the body will go something like, something like this. Okay. So, so let's go to the body let's go to edit puppet warp. And now I will fast forward. I will just add several pins and just tweak it exactly the same as I did with the hat and come back really soon. Alright guys, so just have in mind that this doesn't need to be perfect because the ear, the big ear will cover the body, so you just need to make sure that the legs are okay, tail, and that's basically this part of the body here. So I'm done, let's press OK, and now let's, let's see, let's crank the opacity up. Wow, it's really nice, small Frankenstein. It's, it's getting, we are getting there, so it's cute. What we need to do now, we need to play with uh, the ear. And what I want to do, I want to fix the body. As you can see here, I have some uh, not good selection because this elephant that we use it here, the selection was not was not so good. So I already downloaded the extracted elephant. I will give you this PNG file. So let's go to the body. I can make a mask and I can just use really hard black brush and just go brush okay 100% opacity black color and just go here and just fix this okay that's something that you can do i will not spend too much time here tweaking these parts because this is me showing you the techniques and what you need to do this is not me like making a perfect final image because for that i will definitely spend a little bit more time than 
than just the time for this tutorial, but you need to get a point how you can create this kind of elephant or whatever you want later on your own. Okay, so basically this is it. Now let's go and find an ear for this. So let's use this one. As you can see, I already selected the ear. I have it right here, so I'll just copy it and place it right there. So this is ear. And I want ear to be about the head. The layer will be about the head. Also, I want to lower the opacity a little bit, both the head and the body too, just to see the sketch. And now I will press again Control or Command T, make everything smaller and just rotate to fit here. I will make it a little bit bigger. And this is our starting position. I really like it. Maybe something like this. And I will press OK. And I will not care about this part. I just want to match the shape that I drawn. So I will again go to Edit, Puppet Work Tool. And guys, I will again fast forward this just quick reshaping of the ear. Okay, this, this looks really good. So I'll press OK. And now what I like to do, let's crank up the opacity to all three layers. What I like to do, I like to first go to filter, camera roll filter, and just, just make this bluish. Just match. Oops. To match the other colors. Too. Okay, this is this is really nice. Now what I like to do, I like to cut out this part that is that is too much. So let's go right here. Just hide hide the body layer. I don't need it. I just want to create a layer mask on the layer uh, ear a layer, and then I will use the black color and just yeah, that's okay, and just hide everything here so let me just see something i need to hide the head just to see the overlay here of the sketch layer so this is like this and yeah this is cool also i need to create this small part right there and for that i will use another image but for now for this this is perfect let me see. Okay. I will definitely leave it like this. So let's bring back the head. Let's bring back the opacity to 100%. And now it's really, really nice, starting to look nice. Also, let's, let's build this part. So for that part, I want to go and find another elephant. So, okay, it's this one, right? And I will just use, let's use quick selection tool, Q on a keyboard, and I just want to select this part and this part. Let's select a little bit more than I need it. I don't need this part at all. So probably something like that. I will get rid of most of these things here, but I just want to have a little bit more things. Press Control C or Command C on a Mac to copy this, go back, and and then where is it and paste it right here so this is ear part okay and also we need to play with uh, color color of this brightness etc but for now i'll just make it smaller let's go to the ear lower the opacity just a little bit and lower the opacity of the head like that just to see that part right there so i will transform it Put it somewhere here, like this. Okay, and what I can do right now, I can, let's bring back these parts to 100%. I can go and I can clip this ear part to the ear because it will affect only the ear. To clip something to another layer, one layer to another layer, you need to press and hold Alt or Option key and just click in between those two layers. All right, I will now create a mask and with black brush, really soft, 0% hardness, and maybe 20 or 30% opacity. I will just get rid of these parts right there. Okay, just to blend this nicely, okay? And also I need to colorize, colorize this part. So I can go again to 
camera row. Of course, guys, you can do this with so many uh, things. You can colorize this with curves, with color balance, with uh, levels, with uh, hue and saturation. A lot of options to do this. I'm just using uh, color, uh, sorry, camera row filter for this because it's easier just to tweak the color temperature. Let's go back. All right, now I will zoom this a little bit to see the details and make it a little bit more bluish, maybe darker just a touch maybe and lower the situation so this is just for now and as you can see almost seamless almost so i will again blend this a little bit better using a brush and this thing and this is really really cool i have this part of the ear and also what i like to do i like to blend this part of the ear with the head so to do that let's go right there and just slowly blend this okay just to blend this a little bit a little bit better and then we need to match the colors we need to match the lighting etc but for now our elephant looks really nice i will deal with this here a little bit later i don't need a sketch anymore so now let's play let's play with uh, colors and brightness etc so first i will merge these th two things together actually let's let's colorize this this ear uh, i will use hue and saturation okay and just lower lower the saturation a little bit okay and change the hue something like this as you can see these two parts are now matching perfectly so that's okay and i will select all three layers and just press Control or command G to put it in a group and I will call the group ear. Okay, then let's go with the head. The head needs to, ha to be, let's leave the head for later. Let's go with the body. What is this part? Let me see, oh, this is the thing that we can delete. The body needs to be darker, so we can use brightness. Let me show you just really quickly. Clip to affect only the, that layer, so we can make body darker with brightness. We can make it darker with exposure, with curves. So, I don't know, let's use exposure, why not? Like this, okay, for now. And then I will go back, invert the mask control or command I, and now use a brush. I will use soft brush and maybe 30% opacity or so, and just start painting that brightness. So here will be a little bit more, not brightness actually, darkness. So let's paint with the white just to undo some things. And here, let's use 10%, 10% opacity. It will be darker because like the shadow from the ear, but everything else will be dark too. So this part will be just a touch darker than the rest. The tail needs to be darker. Maybe this part, this part can be a little bit brighter, you will see later. Why? And guys, this is classical dodging and burning. You need to, to practice this to make it really good. So this part will be darker too. Let me see, like this. And also, as you can see, we have here a body part and head part. So we can go to the body and maybe just with a black brush just try to blend it let me see let's undo this yeah this is body and this is head so actually we will go with the head put a layer mask on the head and try to blend this with a body a little bit better so maybe 40 percent or so and also we'll make this part darker and desaturated like the head is. So let's go to the body. Use hue and saturation adjustment layer just to desaturate it. As you can see, now it's really cool. And we'll tweak this body a little bit more later. But now it's really, really nice. And what I like to do now, I like to play with the ear. So let's go here put the exposure or brightness, whatever you feel it's better. And I will just make it darker, invert 
the mask and just start by painting with 10% opacity brush right here on the bottom because the top will be brighter and also I need to desaturate desaturate everything here so let's create a new fenestration adjustment layer let's desaturate it a little bit so this is this is cool this will be darker even more okay and now it's too much so try experiment try a few times we have here some bright parts from the body so let's go here yeah definitely and we need to make this darker so we will go to exposure to affect the body and paint with the white white to match to match this okay so this will be definitely darker than the ear and for now i will stop here i need to use uh, liquify or again pop it for but we'll use liquify to tweak the head a little bit and to tweak the body a little bit but now let's bring the background in as you can see there are a lot of things that we need to do with the elephant to make it nice uh, uh, cute etc we need to play a little bit more with dodging and burning with lights of separate parts of the body and so on and so on but I just want to bring in some backgrounds to have a little bit more interesting scene but before that let's copy the ear to another side of the head so to do that let's go to the ear and let's just press ctrl or command j make a copy so let's bring back these parts we have a copy ear copy okay put it below the head head and the body all the way down and now bring back this thing clip to affect only only the here now let's go here move tool and just move it move it somewhere here also i will press ctrl or command e to merge the group into one layer then i will go with exposure make everything darker because this here will be dark press ctrl or command t and just tweak this rotate and put it somewhere here probably something like like this all right now we have really nice cute cute dumbo it's a little bit dark but we will fix that so now let's go and find a background i will use this image and i already extract from this image this part only this part but actually let me show you this image actually the original file is this one so what i did here before i extracted this part i just used the lasso tool and just trace around this girl because i didn't want this girl to be in the scene so just like this okay and i press you can use two ways if you're using a newer version of photoshop you can use content aware fill with the new algorithm etc and this is the, the the result or if you're using an older version of photoshop you can just press shift and backspace shift and backspace and choose content aware press ok and you will have another result so this is this is it this is what i did we have some things here that we need to bring back you will see later and i don't need this image so let's go back right there and again as you can see i have some crap things here because i just get rid of the girl so this is it and i use pen tool and traced all around here and actually let me just show really quickly I traced like that around around all these things all right all the way down all the way here 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 and I didn't go like this I traced like here here actually a little bit less here 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 and here because I want to create a new perspective like we have this type of uh, perspective right there so that's what I did and that's why I have this but this is not good this is just part of the background and I will just rebuild this you will see it's really easy and it's really cool to do it so I'll just paste it right there wow it's matching great let's let's select first layer and last layer of the elephant press ctrl command g and let's call it elephant okay and let's just hide this and rebuild this part how I like to do it I will use a pen tool and I will just go and trace 
just around here, just this. Okay. If you're not familiar with the pen tool, if you don't know how to use a pen tool, I have a full tutorial pen tool explained completely. You can find it on a link right here. So I will just make a selection out of it, press control and enter and just press control or command J to make a copy of this selected part. Now I will press control or command T, move it right here somewhere and just, just stretch it. Okay, stretch it left and right like this. And that's it for now. Now what I like to do, create a mask right there and with really soft brush, black brush, 20% or so opacity, I just want to, to blend this, okay? Really nicely to blend it. It's really cool as you can see. And here we need, let's just lower the opacity of this. Here we need to raise this part. So to erase it, I will go again with the mask, 100% opacity brush, black brush and hard brush. So I just don't need anything of this, okay? And also I don't need, let me just lower the opacity. It will be from here to here somewhere, so I don't need this. Okay, this is cool. Now let's rebuild this part right there. To do that, this is even simpler. I will just use rectangular marquee tool and just select, just select this. Okay, press Control Command J, move it here, and just press Control or Command T while holding a Control key or Command key on a Mac. Just move these points, and, and you can even move the corners to tweak it to match this perfectly, and you're done. So it's easy like that, and I have completely new shaped, reshaped, really cool, easy like that. All right, now we'll group all these things together and just press Control Command E. Select everything, press Control Command E just to merge it into new background and that's it. Also because the elephant is blue and this is like on sunset scene, I just want to change the color temperature on this and again I will go to, yeah, camera row filter. So filter, camera row filter, go with the blue all the way to the left, but now everything is magenta. I will uh, decrease magenta, something like this. Just tweak this to maybe a little bit brighter, just a touch and lower saturation. So you need to play this experiment a little bit. And I think it's okay. If not, we can go back and tweak it. But for now, this is really cool. And let's bring the background the sky in. So for the sky, I will use this photo right there. Okay. And just go right here and paste it. And that's it. I will press control command T flip it horizontal because I want the light to come from behind. And this is really, really cool. It's already start looking nice. What I did in my version, I just erased those buildings because I don't uh, didn't like it. So you can use the lasso tool. Just trace it around, press shift backspace, content aware, that's it. Then again, lasso tool, shift backspace, that's it. And for this one too, so this is it. And now we have really nice clean background. So now what we can do, we can just add a shadow for the elephant. Let's go right there, create new layer, name it shadow. And also I want to rename this as a building. Okay, and this is the sky. All right, now let's go to the shadow layer. I will choose some dark color from here, something like this. Put the shadow layer into multiply blending mode and just try to, let's use a little bit hard, uh, softer brush. Just, just make a shadow right there, like, like this, okay. And now I will go create a mask right there. I can use a pen tool and just trace out this because I don't want the shadow to be spilled on the sides down there and just fill it with a black. To fill with the black, if the black is foreground color, you can see the shortcuts here on the screen. Just press Alt or Option key and backspace and that's it. Right now we have really nice shadow 
here and also we can go and put put a hat on the on the elephant okay but before that i just want to tweak the elephant head uh, head a little bit so let's go to the elephant i'll just right click on a group and where is the blue i will just make everything blue so the head body head okay it's here i can just go to filter liquify and i just want to change the head a little bit just a touch right i don't want to show background because i don't need that but just a touch and also i want to make him smile so just like this really nice smile happy nice elephant all right this is cool maybe like this and just a small tweaks nothing special you can also use healing tool or whatever you want like you're doing with the skin you can just get rid of these wrinkles right there just a little bit maybe if you want that that's just an idea so this is before this is after he's smiling as you can see before and after i really like like the expression so now let's go and put the feather in the trunk first we need to change the trunk so let's go to another image this one and i will just use this part of the trunk that i already extracted so this is black and white image we need to colorize this trunk don't worry it's easy actually so let's go back here paste it and i will put it let me see not in the ear yeah just just about head just right there so this is trunk part okay i will press ctrl command t and rotate this okay something like this make it smaller put it somewhere here let me see let's zoom it maybe here and what i need to do actually i need to, because i didn't make a good selection it was with uh, lasso tool i have this point here i need to create layer mask black brush harder brush something like this okay and let me see just just redo this okay this is really cool now i will just tweak this with uh, we can use again puppet warp tool expand the selection okay put some pins here and there and just tweak this a little bit okay like this maybe something like that and, and this is cool i will press enter and that's really nice like he has a has a boxer glove he will punch somebody all right we can colorize this so let's go to hue and saturation clip it to affect only that and click colorize and yeah we have red boxer glove that's really cool but we don't want that we want some bluish color lower the saturation we need to make it darker etc but not like this you will see with exposure and then just paint all around so for now let's leave it like this we can always go back and tweak it i know that doesn't look good but it doesn't look good because we don't have this dark part and we need to tweak the shadows etc but now what i like to do i would like to go to the trunk mask and just go right there with the black brush really soft one and 20 percent opacity and just blend this again i just want to to blend with the original trunk a little bit better so here we will tweak this don't worry so let's press ctrl command t and just just rotate it rotate it like like this okay and maybe let me see i'm holding now ctrl and alt shift or command option and shift just to change the perspective this is cool let me just see mm. yeah we can use we can still use again puppet warp tool and just let's just uh, expand this and just 
Shave this a little bit more. Like this and like, like that. We can do that, why not? We can always change this however we want. That's cool. And now let's, let's do this, right? And let's go to the head layer and to the head layer mask and with the black brush 100% opacity just paint right here want to get rid of this all right this is nice maybe we can just later tweak this head trunk a little bit just to know that this is the option maybe you want to just tweak tweak the shape you can go to liquify or we can just delete here but it's better to go to liquify i'm doing this just to save some time okay this is cool and now let's go to the trunk part let's go to exposure and make it a lot dark like really dark all right and then i just want to invert it Control command i and just paint with a white brush and really soft one and maybe 60 or so percent opacity or maybe 40 just paint right there okay just paint it here and then 10% opacity and paint the shadow right there. Okay, that's cool. And it's already better. So we can then go to hue and saturation and play with, with this, maybe add a little bit of saturation, maybe uh, not too much, maybe just change the color. Maybe we can add some curves here clip to effect only that and to add a little bit more highlights I like to invert the mask and just paint right there just add some highlights okay etc so this is how you need to blend it let's go back to the head and blend oops wrong I need to go on the mask okay that's cool trunk Just blend it a little bit better so this is it this is really nice for a start we can always go back and tweak this a little bit more also the tip that you can do is just to try with uh, healing brush try to sample this texture right there and paste it here sample it paste it here just to have a similar similar texture so this is an option just for you to know that you can do that maybe paste this texture and um, paint, uh, clip it actually from here, sample it from here and paste it right there, etc. But that takes a little bit more time, I will not do it right now. Now I want to go to the feather. Here it is, I already made a selection, so I will just copy it and go back here, paste the feather right there above the elephant, make it smaller. And actually I will need two feathers. So one is, or we can just get, get away with this, I'm not sure. So we'll see. One is here, okay, he's holding it, and I will create a layer mask, and just with a really nice, harder brush, 100% opacity, I just want to erase this. Also, if you want to be really precise, you can go to trunk part because this is trunk part. Press and hold control or command key and just click on it to load the selection and then this is it. Right? He's holding it, but we need this part down there so we can uh, go create another layer and just use a brush. I will sample this color, okay, because I will draw this part. Oops. Mm, maybe still on but like that and also what you can do I'll just do it on another layer I'll just go with really dark color here and we can just draw some feathers or you can just copy another feather here and just just um, put it there but I will make this darker so it doesn't matter nobody will notice that from this distance but I'm noticing it, I don't like it, so I'll just copy this feather again, put it all the way up, get rid of the mask, delete layer mask, and just go with this part here, make the feather 
or narrow like that. Okay, and go right here. Put a black layer mask. To put a black layer mask, you just need to press and hold Alt or Option key, click on the mask, that's it. And now with a wide brush, I just want to paint back some parts. That's really cool. All right, and now I will make this darker with the exposure layer. And that's that's it. Let's make it darker. Let's invert the mask. And let's just, oops, soft brush, 10% opacity. Just make this part darker. And this is it. This is it, guys. He is holding the feather. Now what we are missing on the Dumbo, we need the hat. So I'm using this hat from the dog to the elephant. Why not? It's uh, some kind of uh, animal hat. Not, but doesn't matter. I will just paste it right there. Name it hat. Okay, make it smaller. I already extracted it to, to save the time for this tutorial. I use the quick selection tool and then just refine the selection. And in case you're not familiar how to make selection in Photoshop, how to select anything and extract it later, you can watch my tutorial about, about that on the link right here. So now I'm holding control command key, just moving these corners to fit this hat right there. Maybe we can move the hat a little bit more in the front, like there, press control command T, then just move again those corners something like this and that's that's basically it with the hat you can also get rid of this part if you want just use clone stamp tool and just get rid of it i leave it here for this tutorial and now we can create a shadow we can just go below the hat shadow for the hat use some color of the dumbo all right and multiply blending mode we need really soft brush okay and just just paint here and i'm rushing guys i'm really rushing because i don't want to waste too much of your time i just want to show you how you can do it and then i leave everything to you to spend even more time a lot more time to tweak this for yourself i also have a tutorial how to create shadows there are three types of shadows that i like to call contact shadow uh shadow actually from the object and ambient shadow so you can check that tutorial too on the link right here and uh, that's it this is really slappy sloppy job let's let's create a layer mask this is really quick but for the sake of this tutorial it's not bad right me showing you what you need to do and how to do it but not do it not uh, I, I'm not doing it perfectly now I need to make some shadows here on the contact of the ear and to play with that so let's go back to the elephant I can just do several things now I can go and create new layer about everything and use clone stamp tool or let me see with a healing tool I use healing tool sample this and not bad not bad Okay, let's let's try this okay and I just want to lower the opacity just a little bit that's cool and then I will create hmm, curves let's try with the curves curves just classic dodging and burning this will be for burn and another one I'll just copy this one another one will be for dodge okay now what I like to do I like to go here to the burn, use brush, really soft brush. And this is classical dodging and burning, guys. I have a full tutorial on that. Dodge and burn explained how to use it and what is it for, etc. But now I will fast forward this because this is just me doing dodging and burning. As you can see, I will just create a new shape with, with the burn, with uh, darkening this part right there and darkening this part here so I can see the ear. This part is a little bit longer and make this darker. This may be even darker, etc. So let me see. This is cool. And I will just fast forward now. I'm just changing the blending mode of the groove from pass through to normal because I don't want 
this to affect the background etc so now the dodging and burning will only affect the elephant otherwise you can see if i go from normal to pass through it affects the the background too so i don't want that i just want to normal and then everything inside the group will be affected so again i will just fast forward this i will just stop somewhere here because definitely this this takes time and you got a point you can just dodge it and burn it burn it uh, i just made uh, the highlights from above and from back like there is uh, lights coming from behind him so his front will be a little bit more in the dark also we can do with the elephant we can go here to brightness and and brighten him a little bit more like that so this is all up to you i can brighten the background a little bit more too so let's go all the way down sky brightness and contrast or curves or whatever you want so brightness and contrast and just brighten the background and this is basically it now you can tweak it however you want add more elements do whatever you want tweak some parts of the body even more etc so there are a lot of things that you can do here i will stop because this tutorial is already too long again guys i want to say that this is not me making a perfect finished image it's me showing you the tips tricks and techniques how you can do this on your own so spend a little bit more time and do this much much better or you don't need to create a dumbo you you can create whatever kind of frankenstein animal so you you saw here that the point is to use several different body of the animals to create one animal out of the sketch that you made before so now we'll combine everything together let's go all the way up right here press shift ctrl alt or shift command option e on a mac merge everything into one new layer and i will go out of filter and camera row filter and just finalize this i will add a little bit more contrast maybe a little bit more clarity open shadows as you can see that's it maybe i can add some bluish color in the shadows like that i can sharpen it lower the radius press and hold alt option here and mask to see what parts that i want to affect by sharpening only the white parts will be affected so this is cool also by holding alter option key here on the radius you can see what will be sharpened so more or less things more details less details right here so you can choose that too etc i like it like that also i can go right here and add a little bit more brightness from above so as you can see this is really cool and I will press OK. So this is before, this is after. Really solid change, but I really like it. And this is the final version for this tutorial. And this is a final version that I did just before this tutorial for Instagram. So you can go on Instagram and check it out a little bit more. All right, guys. So that's it for today's episode. I really hope that you like it and that you learn some new, interesting, and cool tips, tricks, and techniques that you can later use in your own projects, in your own photo manipulations. If you have any question regarding to this episode, please leave it down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. And also guys, if you like this episode, if you appreciate this content, just press that like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. And also guys, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and also you will get some things in return. So have fun, experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye.